Looking forward to it. By the way, same thing. Did you see Zendaya? I've seen her a lot. Did you see her at the premiere, the world premiere of uh, Dune 2 no. in her space outfit? No. Freaking great. It was it was weird. It was sexy. It was She looked beautiful. And the first reactions, not a surprise, is that uh, this thing is... There, everybody who saw it said it's it's going to be considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest, science fiction films of all time. Who? Dune 2. Oh. Okay. Hey, we'll go back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm Zendaya. I'm closing the screen to more G's content. Thank you to everybody who supports the Patreon. Yeah, like yeah if button. you look her, look her up right now. You don't have to show me that Zendaya is attractive. It's not about She's her being attractive. Been attractive. It's about her outfit at the... Uh, premiere last night i am going to they've re-released dune in theaters i'm hoping i get to see it you didn't even like dune i know i want to re-watch it here it is she looks very she looks like c-3po if c-3po was very very sexy you know i must wear the same outfit and the the bat when she turns around her butt cheeks it's a prince kind of thing her butt cheeks are exposed Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a really cool outfit. I love it. Also known as destroying Indian culture. Wow. You, Corbin Miles, are single-handedly destroying Indian culture. Rice with none. And I don't want to see you in an outfit that has your butt cheeks exposed. Well, my whole butthole is going to be exposed. Josh! Today we got a video. Well... If you do that, I'm removing your poop vein. Uh, we got a traditional Onam experience. This is India's mega festival. This is you know, it's from National Geographic India. Came out 11 days ago. This goes over um, kind of traditional Om traditions, basically. Cool. Because I, I believe that either happened or is coming up. Cool. So Bring it. Go. Bring it. Is made from the heart. Can't wait for service. A hall in an hour. So your mom said door area that's been converted into an eating area can accommodate 3,000 people at one go. Oh, so wow. The kitchen and Your mom can accommodate 3,000 people at one go. To serve the meal, clear, reset, and bring in the next 3,000 people. Wow. Feel the buzz in the room. And if you look what's happening, you've got an army of servers feeding thousands of people. And this Reminds is me of the Golden Temple. Chance. This is coordinated. Is it's it like sick or is it? Operation. Oh, no. Each Almost. Each person carries a bucket or a bowl. Puts the food item Hindu, on the right? plantain leaf and then just keeps going, followed by the other 20 that are putting the other dishes on the leaves. I love this. And in kitchen terms, all that adrenaline that was there before service. I join the service, I need to be precise and I need to be quick. Let's go. So, about this much? Too much? Yeah? More? Plenty? Enough? I need to remember Mahabali's spirit of generosity and abundance and serve larger portions. Oh, we gotta go. I tell you why, because Sambar is coming up fast behind me. But this is like every service in every kitchen, but it's <coughs> mega service. Happy on them. A little more. And I'm out. Next, I'm on table setting duty. No bowls, spoons, or food. I need off a banana here. leaf. Just banana leaf. You would or you have? I would. Oh, of course. I, just said I, I want would to. too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hard-hearted <laughs> work. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just, I'm giving all the big leaves to the yeah. people that want, you know, the most food. I hope you haven't had the sadhya yet. No, I haven't. And actually, I'm getting hungry. Yes, let's do it. But I think you need a change first. Oh, I gotta go and find a place to get change. Shall all we? right, let, let's yeah. go change. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the mundu. But with Bella's help, I think I look pretty sharp. This looks nice, isn't it? Hey, Can Gary, you... not yet, sir. And I think it's gonna be served. Uh, okay. These are all chutneys and pickles? Yes, yes. This is roast coconut, I saw yes, this one. Yes. Roast coconut. With a bit of lentils. Mustard seeds. Yeah. And I recognize this one because it was cabbage thorn. Cabbage thorn. Yeah. Right. And this is called a pineapple pachadi. Yep, so Pachadi, this kind yeah. of a, yeah, mm. a new entrant, but very popular. A new entrant? Good. What does that mean? So, so I think it was only in the maybe the 80s that ah. this became a part of the... I'll have to look it up, spread. see where it came from. No, don't touch yeah, it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So this is called Kalan. 
It's like when you're dealing uh, cards, you don't touch them until everybody has their cards. There is a certain beauty and ancient wisdom behind waiting for the whole meal to be served. Starting your meal at the same time as all the people around you fosters a sense of community and kinship. You know what I really notice here at the temple is so many different people. I mean, not casting any aspersions, but yeah. from people that you would imagine really don't have any money at all yeah, to yeah, other yeah, people yeah. that have plenty of money and they're here I think all celebrating. Temple lunches are the great equalizers. Everyone starts eating together as soon as the rice is served. You make a nice little, so a little circle in the center yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Samba. Samba, beautiful. Wow. Or a oh, wow. <laughs> Such beautiful flavors. It's extra special because of that rice. Yeah. It's a, you know, like a, a vehicle for all the different flavors. Yes, so yes, the tamarind, yes, yes. you're getting sharp and, you know, you know, almost kind of maple, and kind of rich flavors. And uh, ginger. So I'd ask them if they had a fork. <laughs> he would. Having a good time. Yes. It's not a bad way to spend an afternoon, even if we've only got 30 minutes to yeah. eat and get out of here. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. The next batch of people are eagerly waiting to come in. So Bala and I wrap things up quite literally. Well, thank you so much, because that was a wonderful experience. Arms on Fight Club? And keeping me company during Sadia. Well, absolutely. Otherwise, I would have been eating it alone. Sadia, what is Maybe that? Maybe we can do this again next autumn. Definitely, you should come back next autumn. Onam, um, yes. number two yes. with Bala. Yes. Onam's so own Bye. Fight Club. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, let's add that to this. <laughs> it was a short yeah. video. Yeah. Fear of Onam has come and gone. But Kerala is in no mood to stop celebrating. In the town of Kunnam Kulam, in the Trisor district, an arena pops up by the side of the road. Oh my god! <laughs> Fabulous, isn't it? If not a little scary. But Kerala has a long history of martial arts dating back, we think, about 3,000 years. We do that to a small extent. Yeah. Kalari yeah. Payatu, and it originates on the battlefield. I think we saw a video specifically about that. Yeah, I think we've seen a few at least. And there are forms of martial art performances in Kerala that are rarer. This one looks like a wrestling match of slaps. Ow. The crowd's pushing, they're excited, but this is a lesser known martial art called Onathalu. And it's mainly practiced during Onam, which is the name association, Onathala Onam. And it's being kept alive by very few passionate exponents in schools, and they take it very seriously indeed. <laughs> According to legend, the performance evolved to keep the memories... <laughs> that makes sense with how much Indians world. love to slap. Today, yeah. The setting may have changed, but the intensity of the performance... Oh, my God. Hasn't. We should try. I would totally destroy you. Oh, these are the big boys. It's going to be hard. That's what she said. But like any good modern martial art, there are rules. Yeah, I was going to say, it's clear there's rules. There's only certain places you can slap. Rings, headbutts, or kicks. And you clearly can't slap the face. But it's about pride. And is it about who can last longer without giving up from the pain? Or is it about the number of strikes you hit? I, well, he, he just said it's not about winning either. So I don't oh, even, I don't even I missed know. That. It might just be like a... I don't know. I don't know. That was, that was interesting, though. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't plan on watching the second video. No, it but it was still up, a, and I was like, and it says it's part it's of part of the Onam. Onam. Yeah. Um, Onam and all that kind of stuff. So I'm guessing I've uh, we've seen many videos about Onam. Uh, if I'm saying that correctly, I'm probably not. Um, but it, it <laughs> not surprisingly, just like every other festival, it revolves around food a lot. Yeah. Is there a festival in India that doesn't <laughs> have? Food as a massive element? In all honesty, the one that I think of that doesn't incorporate food really is holy. It has drink. But maybe we but just... But not... But like on holy though, it are like... A, at the do, end of it, but do families like, oh, this is... We're having right. like a Christmas dinner. Have to at least have... I mishkas. bet there is. They have to have sweets after. I mean, that's a foregone. Because like in, in America, obviously... 
Thanksgiving. There's very specific things that you have at Thanksgiving, obviously, for, for here. But Christmas as well. There's, some people yeah. do have traditions. And even and at New Year's as well. New Year's, especially uh, in the South. Very yeah. traditional uh, things for Black New Year's. Black eyed peas. Yeah. Uh, and pork. I hate. Yeah. I hate black really? eyed peas. Really? Yeah. My family actually used to. Um, I like black eyed peas. My, my family used to put um, coins in the black eyed peas. They boil them and obviously make sure they're clean first yeah but they put them in and it was a tradition of like whoever got the most is gonna have the most prosperity throughout the year it's whoever got the most is gonna die from a choking hazard no one ever died but because you could tell if the coins in your mouth but yeah so you like, can if you're of a certain age you didn't give that to the little no, ones like, uh I mean, when i was a kid like not like yeah probably leland's age explains a lot probably leland's age but um i hated it but I would always scoop the bottom of the bowl to, to, and hear <laughs> find the money. Coins. And then so then, but you can't keep it unless you eat all your your black eyed peas. No, oh, I um, like black eyed peas. No, I don't like black eyed peas at all. There's very few foods I don't like. To be a lot honest. of beans I don't like, but not like green beans. Beans. You're not a fan of beans in general, like, like baked beans. I like those, but that's heavily processed. And so you I don't like really, garbanzos. Not really. Because they're a chickpea, but they're a garbanzo bean. Like if like somebody's like, we're serving beans. Pinto beans? No. So if you go to Chipotle, do you ever put black? No beans. I don't go to Chipotle very much because I don't find that whole thing very appetizing. <laughs> um, that whole spread. So if you get into a Mexican restaurant, would you eat the refried beans? It depends on the refried beans. Okay. Because some are good. But uh, at, when I was growing up... Um, my family made fun of me all the time. But if we went to a restaurant, I would say, can you leave off the beans and rice? I just want fries. <laughs> the white boy uh, special. Yeah, the white boy special. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I don't do that <laughs> so much to my wife. I know the beans and rice are good because, like, yeah, I have Mexican family. My grandma makes brilliant uh, beans and rice. But there's a lot of places that I don't love. But anyways, yeah. that and then the, Those were both it, very interesting. I'm very glad we watched both videos. Um Yeah, I would ask him for a fork, though. I wouldn't. Um, I would just go. Apparently, that's because I'm type A. <laughs> Valerie told me I was type A. You think your need for a fork is because of being type A? No. The fact that I would ask for one ah, is yes. type A. Yes, that's true. That, and that I don't, I, she, she's the one that just, I was like, I don't know what type A. Oh, yeah, you don't, don't know that? I don't, I don't know. No, yeah, I would just say you're a type A And then she explained it, and I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, you you just like stuff done Your the way. way you want it. Correct. And I was like, well, I usually just, and she was like, if people aren't doing it the way, and I'm like, well, I just do it myself usually. Right. Exactly. <laughs> or she's like, if like somebody is doing something for you, you have no issues. Like if, is this done now? And you will ask them as opposed to apparently like, my wife won't ever ask somebody if something is done. Right. She's like, I don't want them to think of, I'm like, I just ask yeah. them. Yeah. I don't see an issue with that. <laughs> I don't like it's like my wife doesn't like when she got I never asked the server for any like my wife never asked like if something is wrong or if something is taking too long she's like, I don't want to disturb the server really it's taking too long I was like well oh, yeah, I've no. been a server the server wants you to tell them of course obviously don't be a dick well and you're paying to be yeah. served in a yeah. restaurant yeah don't be if, an asshole about no, it no but like if you're missing something I want to know because I yes. want to make sure that you have a or if the soup we had that happen at a restaurant don't go to Casa Vega in Sherman Oaks avoid it at all costs Everything about it was the food wise example. The soup was served. The soup was served barely lukewarm. Ew. And when we told the server, he said, You want it hot? <laughs> and it wasn't gazpacho. This was legit abundiga soup, it's supposed to be hot. And their burrito that was $23, I was here to hear. It was like a Taco Bell burrito. It was, it was, t the, everything about it was terrible. I'm, you have to really screw up for me to say. I'll say it though. That's what you should do. You let them know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Apparently, I'm type A though. That's so what type you are. Yeah. You know what type you are? It depends on the circumstances, but for the most part, I'm type A. Mm. Yeah. Very, did, very alpha look, male. I did look up um, certain things about it, and not all of it is me. Correct. Me too. Um, it's not a. People are too complex to have a basic stereotype and it depends on for example i'm a very outgoing person but if you put me in a scenario where i don't know anybody i am extraordinarily introverted 
I am not the guy who will go start up a conversation with a stranger at a, at a, like a party. I don't oh. like those situations at all. Oh. If I don't know people, I'm very uncomfortable. Oh, no, that doesn't bother me. Yeah, I don't like those But situations. I am introverted in terms of just, like, in terms of, like, sharing. I Because I feel extroverts are like, I'll share with you whatever. And I don't really share myself with anybody. Do you share your food? Like, if you're at a restaurant, if, if let's say you guys went out on a date night... And you had some food and it was really, really good. Would your first instinct be to have your wife share it? Yeah. There's a lot of people who wouldn't do that. But not with other people. Well, no, of course not. (laughs) You're not just going to walk around the restaurant and everybody go, want to taste some of my food? It's so good. You should have a bite. Here, just use my fork. It's okay. Oh, you need to blow your nose? That's okay. Just use my fork. No, like in terms of like, I, I, yeah, you're a very hard on your sleeve kind of person. Yes. I'm not that person. Yeah. We're both outgoing people, correct? But also very different. Kind yeah, of correct. Outgoing people I, uh, well. Absolutely. You're um, you're a bit. Yeah, I'm agreed, an extroverted agreed. introvert in yeah. terms of the fact that I have no issues in social settings. And I'm an introverted extrovert. Whatever. Yeah. But I also don't like go out and seek human connection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. At all. Uh, <laughs> no. And if it comes to me, I'm thrilled. Yeah. I love people coming up. It happens to me all the time. I was at the, re- we're at the grocery store and this, I had this guy who I think was Russian show me his phone to help him try to find some wine. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love when people just initiate stuff with me. I say, Slav Ukraine. Wow. To him. Wow. Cause he's the reason. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I said that right. Slav? Slav? Mm-hmm. I heard the guy leader say it. Uh, Love Ukraine. Yeah. Put in into like Ukrainian accent. I think you heard a guy on a construction site telling people what to do with the crane. No, that was orderly. True. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let us know to the videos we can react to down below. Josh!